This is Primrose. She's a 45 foot semi traditional narrowboat built by Liverpool Boats in 2005. She's in lovely condition. The current owner has only had her a couple of months. It was a bit of a shopping accident by all accounts, and he's decided that he actually wants a bigger boat. That being said, she has an astonishing amount of space and storage for a 45 foot boat with a semi trad stern deck, and he's done an awful lot to prepare her for sale. Um, in June 19, a lot of work was done. She was blacked. There were six new anodes put on, the battery banks, the domestics were replaced, three of those are new. It's a new inverter put on, a Victron 1600 watt multi plus compact, that's brand new, and a new Victron battery monitor. The paint works in reasonable condition, doesn't need anything doing to it. And I think you'll agree with me, she's lovely. The gas bottle is in the forward locker there. The well deck's three feet eight inches long, a nice glazed doors lead into the cabin. I'm a bit of a fan of these Liverpool fit outs and arrangements. Lovely oak tongue, tongue and groove above the gunnels and the, to the ceiling. There's a sofa bed there that makes up into a spare double. Solid fuel stove, that's a Arrow Becton four and a half kilowatt. Storage under the steps there, by the way, and in there is the Clarion stereo. Storage cupboards here on the starboard side. Nice glazed bulkheads as well, looking forward into the well deck. There's one of the two radiators and tower. They're heated by an Eberspacher diesel fired system. Nice glasses cupboard over there with some lights under. Big side hatch in the galley on the starboard side, and underneath that, some drawers and cupboards. Good head height on the boat, as is typical with Liverpool boats, six foot five inches. And opposite the side hatch is the Stowe's four burner gas hob oven and grill, all very clean and shiny. And good cupboard space over. There are some lights you might have seen under these cupboards shining down onto the cooker. There we go. Stainless steel sink and drainer and underneath that acres of uh, storage space all the way back to the gunnels and drawers in between some flecks of dust on the screen that's a bit annoying on the lens rather there's the view back into the saloon the saloon itself by the way is eight feet eight inches long and the galley is six feet ten so down the corridor another radiator there's three radiators on board actually and into the bathroom. The loo is a Thetford cassette. There's a spare cassette on board. Countersunk sink and there's a heated towel rail in here. And the shower itself is tiled with a glass bifold door. There's a light in that shower as well. It's all very neat. All very well planned. Two people could quite comfortably live on this boat. Into the bedroom. Beautifully done. The bed's a cross bed. Drawers underneath. The bed extends to six feet two inches long, four feet wide. And a floor to ceiling wardrobe next to it. Reading lights under these cupboards and cupboards extend the length of the bedroom. All very useful storage. And a bank of one, two, three, four, five drawers at the foot of the bed. Nice little dressing area, this. There's a large cupboard in here. You can see the inverter. I mentioned that's brand new. And there's the calorifier. Lots of room in there to squirrel away paint and things like that. Lovely access out to the stern deck. Demountable table there. Under these deck boards is the engine. It's an Isuzu 35. There's only 1500 hours on the clock. And she does have a bow thruster. Unusual for a boat of this length, but if it's there, very useful. Why not? This pram hood cover, by the way, very easily drops down for navigation and very easily re erects. There's a panel that comes out of the front there if you do want a motor without the windscreen. Another cupboard here I missed. I'm getting a bit negligent. 
Have another walk back through the boat. The uh, cratch cover on the front of the boat as well, I didn't mention, is in good condition. And she comes with all the usual navigation equipment, ropes, fenders, piling aisles, windlasses, chains. I also forgot to show you this fridge. That's a 230 volt fridge master, has an ice box in it as well. She's a delightful little boat. She'll go anywhere at 45 feet of course and uh, will make somebody a lovely holiday home or a home. For further details, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.